Hello and welcome to my review of JPEG Mini. You're probably going to ask, what is JPEG Mini? Well, JPEG Mini is a standalone application or a set of plugins for Lightroom and Photoshop that drastically reduce the size of JPEGs that you've created or, or have on your computer. So you can resize JPEGs with no loss of quality and no loss of function. They still work in everything that runs JPEGs. Um, it seems a no-brainer, and it is. So I'm going to help review it for you today and help you decide whether it's something um, that's going to work for you. So here it is, here's JPEG Mini, we're going to go into that in a bit more detail. One of the things I have done is I've sourced some um, photos, some test photos, to show you how it is. So here's Lightroom, I've exported, this is from a DSLR, from a RAW file, I've exported it as JPEG, 100% JPEG, highest file um, sizes with quite a lot of detail just so we can look at what they turn out like. So these three photos I've exported from RAW through Lightroom to JPEG. So let's jump into this review of JPEG Mini. Now I just want to say um, before we start, I'm not sponsored by JPEG Mini, they haven't given me anything. Um, I bought the product, I like the product and it, this is my review of it really and I'm not in any way benefiting from reviewing. I just wanted to clear that up before we start. So in terms of price, you've got JPEG Mini here, which is a standalone application. You can get um, JPEG Mini Pro that at the moment is reduced and that has Lightroom and Photoshop plugins and the standalone. However, I don't see much point and I'm not sure it's worth it. $20 or around £15 um, for me is great, whereas that's a lot of money and actually, I don't think I'd use the extra functionality, and I'm going to show you why in a, in a bit. So, this is what JPEG Mini looks like. It shows you how much space you've saved. It shows you how much it's reduced the files. And that's it. There's a settings button, and there's an optimize original setting. Um, and I don't really concern myself with those. And I'll show you in a, in a minute why. So, I've got some original images. I've got some images I made in Photoshop and I've got some images that I exported from Lightroom. So these are big DSLR files that have been exported as JPEGs, full res, high resolution. So we can see this one is 11 megabytes, this is 9.24 megabytes, and this is 10.6 megabytes. Now with these files it will make a big reduction, it will really reduce them. Where it doesn't reduce so much is when there isn't so much information to reduce. So I've got here um, a Photoshop file that's a meg one, and another Photoshop file that's one megabyte. And by Photoshop file, I mean I made them in Photoshop, I exported them as JPEGs, maximum resolution, all black, all white. It's going to be interesting to see how much it reduces this. I don't think it's going to reduce it very much. And I've got just a pattern that I made in Photoshop, 1.2 megabytes. So let's make that small. So. Oh, I'm going to not do it in the original. I'm going to do it in the test files. So I've duplicated the files into another folder because JPEG Mini, when it changes them, it keeps them in the same folder. It doesn't do copies. So let's bring this one across. This one was 11 megabytes. So I've dragged it across and it spools up. Okay, and that's that. It's saying it's reduced it by 2.3 times and it saves 6.24 megabytes. So now it's 4.83 megabytes. So I really can't remember what it was before. I think it was about 11. And now it's 4.83. That's huge. That's a huge reduction. Let's do this one. And here it goes. I can hear it working. Okay, so 5 megabytes saved. And now that's 3.78. And this one, 10.6. Let's see how it does here. Okay, 10.6 becomes 4.64. So it, it halves, it more than halves them actually. Let's have a look at the quality. Let's open this up. So it doesn't seem to have affected the quality. I've not noticed any effect on the quality when I've used this before, and I've used this on hundreds files. Quality seems fine there and 
Tr you have to trust me, it was a bad picture anyway. It was I was testing bokeh on a lens, so I deliberately didn't focus things in particularly well. Um, and that noise was there to start with. And I'm going to do uh, more of a side-by-side -side comparison a bit later. Let's have a look at how it compares when it does this one. So 1.26 megabytes. Ooh, this one got the biggest reduction, 4.4. So it was 1.26, and now it's 292 kilobytes, or we can call that 0 0.3 megabytes. Let's have a look at the black A4 sized JPEG. Ooh, that's interesting. It's not reduced it. Probably because there isn't anything that you can reduce in that type of file same again so it's all pixels are white in this one and in this one all the pixels are black I didn't think it would do particularly much in it and it hasn't so it's reduced them quite substantially so what I'm gonna do let's just do a test I'm gonna open that let's minimize that and go back here and let's open that now of course you're going to be looking at this on I can get this to work you're going to be looking at this on um, 1080 Do you notice any difference? I can't I can't see on my screen I can't see any difference. And I imagine there isn't really any difference whatsoever. But JPEG Mini has done a great job um compressing that down. So I mentioned at the start of the video why I wouldn't get the step sorry, why I wouldn't get the pro version. And the thing for me is when I take photos in I put them in Lightroom, I do edits, quick, quick quick edits in Lightroom, do the occasional edit in Photoshop, and then I export them. Now if I had the Pro version, I could export them and it could JPEG Mini from within Lightroom. However, it's only another step to get the exported ones and drag them in. And you can drag in a whole folder. So you can drag in a whole folder, go away, make a cup of tea, and when you come back, you've got your um, scaled, you've got your resized without loss of quality version. So I don't see that I would need or many people would need the pro version. All you have to do is export them as you would normally in Lightroom and then just copy them across. It's one extra step um, for the sake of eighty for the sake of eighty dollars, one extra step I, I can live with. In the same way I don't really use the resizing option because I would resize in Lightroom and then I would just save space using JPEG Mini. So I would, if I'm putting something up on the web, I generally export it um, with web settings in Lightroom. I've got my own web settings. And then after that, I would again copy it into JPEG Mini or drag it into JPEG Mini and it would reduce it again further. So I don't really see the need to use this optimizing originals section. And I don't really see the need for the pro. I hope you found that useful. Thank you.